Hi, and welcome to winemastery.co.uk. My name's John Wright, but this is... John Murphy. And we're here to tell you all about wine, hopefully help you find the wine, if not the wines, you will absolutely adore. That's new. <laughs> You didn't warn me about that, did you? <laughs> I was waiting for the love. <laughs> I'm going to miss that. Adore, but... love, adore. Oh, we'll live with that, yeah, yeah. Hopefully you're going to enjoy them. So, in this episode we're looking at Pinot Noir. It follows on from the New Zealand Pinot Noirs we've already tasted, which were, were very nice. We'll have a look at those. I'll put a link in the bottom. But this time we're moving over to South America. We are indeed. We're going to Chile. Mmm, oh. which uh, probably I think this, this cool. is this is one red one of the red wines that you can have chilled, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, De depending on how heavy uh, the actual the, the Pinot Noir is, but yeah, you can. You mentioned it being chilly. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> into these things. I, I know this man so well. But you, you can, depending on how light it is, you can actually chill it. Uh, even if it is from Chilean. Um, Chile. Now this is going to be quite interesting because usually the Pinot Noirs, I mean I've always bigged up the New Zealand Pinot Noirs, I've said it, but then in, in the same way I've always bigged up Chilean wines yeah, in general. Yeah, but yeah. I, I really like Chilean wines so and let's see what reason, can... I might say. Oh yeah, but some, we've, we've had some crackers. Um, so let's hope these are too. So, yes. so three Chilean Pinot Noirs from three different supermarkets. Okie dokie, let's have a look-see. Number one? Number one. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. See you there. Ciao. 